In this video, we're going to be creating a player health bar that can be used in both 2D and 3D games. And as the health goes down, the color will change to whatever you prefer. Alright, so let's get started. So I have this scene with a simple player of movement script on it. Some basic horizontal movement going left and right. And this is what the script will look like. So nothing fancy for now. Let's go ahead and start creating the player health bar by creating a canvas. Then just right click on the canvas, UI, and we're going to create an image. Let's go ahead and scale this image down into the shape of how we want our health bar to look. I've also centered it and I like the way it looks. So next I'm going to create an empty game object inside of this same uh, canvas. Make this empty the same size as the health bar image itself. Now I'll go ahead and rename this empty game object to health bar and actually put the image inside of it as a uh, as a child object. Now I'm going to duplicate the image and now you see there's two of them. The one at the bottom is the one that's on top and the regular image that we created previously would be the one at the bottom. So I'll go ahead and I'll change that color to something dark and then you see here that the one on the top is the um, the foreground, the fill. So I'll go ahead and I'll rename it to fill. If I drag this here you see that the one at the bottom is is the dark color. You want to then add this slider component to the empty game object that we called health bar. But first, um, before filling in those, you want to click on the fill and just click this button here to center them with the size and do that for both the foreground and background of the fill. Next, let's head back to the empty game object with the slider on it and just drag the fill and drop it in right there where it asks for the fill rec. Now, this slider here will be um, the amount of the health so if it goes up and down then that will control the amount of health you have. Let's hop over into the script and start coding some references to these um, sliders and max values. So first thing we're going to need is the unity engine.io so go ahead and just put that in at the top. Next <clears throat> let's go ahead and create a public um, public variable here that will represent our um, max health be a public float um, next let's go ahead and also create a public slider and I'll just call this underscore slide which will represent the um, slider that's on the empty game object of course and then last another variable here that just represent our current health inside the start function we'll go ahead and just initialize these values and set them to their uh, default states so the current health should be your max health obviously and then the slider the max value of that slider should also be your max health and let's not forget about this slider here right um, right here the value itself which is different from the max health we need that value to be all the way up so we'll say slide dot value and at this point that value should also equal to the max health. With that um, let's now create a way to take some damage so we'll create a separate function for this um, that way you can be very independent when you make this call so whatever your game uh, mechanics are you can just call this function and deal some damage. So. Um, we'll deal damage with the current health, just say current health equals the current health minus whatever the damage is. And then let's update the slider. I believe it's underscore slide. And then we say dot the value, that same slider value should also equal to whatever the current health is at this current time. Um, finally, I'm just going to create a if condition for testing purposes, just a simple if, 
and I'm gonna check to see if I'm pressing the space bar so if input dot get x or get key down and then the key code will be key code dot space if I'm pressing the space um, button on the keyboard then I'm just gonna call the take damage function and send uh, 25 in the parameter here semicolon and we're done save head back to unity um, let's hook this all up on the player with a player script and then uh, time to test so on the player script you see we have the two variables here that showed up the two public ones um, the slider is of course the empty game object that we called um, help bar that has the slider component on it and then um, for the health I'm just going to test here let's put about uh, about 800 and if I click on the health bar here you see it's set to 2 and when I hit play the max health should change it boom 800 800 and if I press space you see that that slider is updated the value and it goes down just like it should now this is just a quick little example if you want to check if your play was dead just do a if you know your current health is less than or equal to zero then your player is dead um, and this little tip here is just for if you're new to unity but um, anyways if you also wanted to make this for your 2d game then it's already 2d currently all you got to do is put the health bar itself in the position you like it to be um, for example the top left corner and you know play the game blah blah for 3d games um, click on the canvas and set it to um, world <laughs> space and then you can go into 3d mode and just scale this down and make it um, exactly how you want it put it right above the player's head and also take the um, take the opportunity here to take the canvas itself and just parent it uh, make it a child object of the player so that it will move with the player as the player move as you can look over here in the hierarchy and see that my entire canvas is a part of the player um, group and now uh, as you move the player the help bar will move with him I'm at a certain angle so it just looks a little bit like uh, there's a little delay but uh, they're moving se uh, sequently here together now what about the color if you wanted some color uh, you just got to go back into your script now let's create a gradient now I just call my underscore underscore grad <coughs> sorry about that sorry about that had some lag there so like I was saying we'll create this public uh, gradient and also we need a, a reference to the image that we're using to fill the uh, the bar so we just create a public image as well back into the script and then um, in the start function let's go ahead and just make sure that the color is set to the to the first color in the gradient so we'll just set that um, to uh, gradient dot evaluate and then we'll put um, 1f next when you take damage you want the color to change based on the colors of the gradient or whatever is inside the gradient and so we'll say again color um, bar color dot color equal and then uh, just once more we'll say the, the gradient so grad um, dot evaluate and we'll set it to whatever the uh, the slide current value of based on the colors that are inside um, and then we just normalize it save and let's head back to unity and set that up <coughs> so with this new gradient variable we'll see this right here um, just click on the color swatch oh let's also connect the image of course um, that we're using to fill and then click on the color swatch right now we're going to be set in if you just click right here it kind of just creates a third color we're going to be set in the uh, the colors for the fill so from the right side is the uh, the color that would be on uh, the first color and then towards the middle as it starts going down in value it gets yellow and then it's going to be turning red 
just kind of position these how you like. Choose the colors you like as well. <clears throat> and with that, we just run it one more time. And you can see that it defaulted to the green color, which was at the front. And as I lower the health by pressing the space bar, it's changing color. And there it goes. Well, well that is it for today. I hope this uh, tutorial here was helpful, helpful to someone. And uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like so that it can also help someone else you may or may not know. Uh, catch you in the next one.